Hello YouTube, this is Harry Fisher and I'm back to show you how to simply and easily and quickly get samples from the, the internet, from iTunes, and from your keyboard or any sound that you have connected to your computer. Uh, back in the day, we used to have to go through crates and crates of vinyl records to get samples from James Brown or whatever. But now it's really easy. As the camera pans down here, you, you have to have the right equipment, as I said before. What I have here is a PreSonus sound card. It has eight inputs, eight outputs. What you need to do after everything is um, connected to your computer, you need to connect your output, which is on the back, to the corresponding input here. Right now, I'm using uh, input seven and eight to get sound. Now, the way how you know that it's working, if you pan and look here at sound seven and eight, you see, you see the sound and the, the lights going on? That means you have sound going in and out of the computer. And then also, I'm on YouTube now, the cameraman will look at YouTube. I'm just doing this. This is a suck MC, but you see the lights going up and down, that means you have sound. Real easy. Now, what you, you could also do, I'm going to click on iTunes and just pick a song. Hopefully I won't get in trouble for this, but this is a, a song that's here. And you see the lights going up and down. I see the way. Right? Now, I'm going to use Machine now to quickly show you how you can take a sound from anywhere, assign it to a pad on the machine, and then you can further use it and manipulate it. Um, I'm not that good at slicing yet, uh, but what you can do is go online and search for F major explain slicing on machine and he does a very good job on doing that but I'm gonna look at it's him 11 hours. that was my clock I'm gonna look at him and then uh, try to explain it even further uh, the way how he does it so let, let's get started the first thing you do you have your machine up and ready now let's say for example I just have this keyboard sound right let's say I, I want to record that what the first thing you do is hit your sampling button and there's different options here that it defaults to record and then you simply press start and the great thing about machine is it will not record until it has a sound going in so you don't have to try to time it so just real simple and easy I could just do this and press stop now, it's there. I'm going to turn this down. I'm, it's on the pad here. Ooh, wow, that's loud. But it's on the pad here. Now, what you can do, you can manipulate this. You can cut it up in pieces. You can actually, if you have a, a keyboard that's connected to your computer, which is connected to the machine, you can literally play this. You can play different chords of it. I know it doesn't sound good, but... Right? Now, you can go to another pad here, and as I sh showed before, you go to um, iTunes, um, I'm sorry, go to uh, YouTube. Now, if I want to, if I said, oh, I, I want a sample of um, Sucker MC by Run DMC, and all you do is go on YouTube, find it, same thing, hit record, it'll start, then as soon as you hit play, it's recorded. Now, here it is here on the pad. Two years ago, a friend of mine. Now, that's not a clean cut, but this is just a tutorial just showing you what to do. And the same thing from iTunes. I'm going to try, try to find something um, decent here really fast. Uh, as you know, you can't use any of Prince's stuff because then he'll haunt you down and, and try to get you. So, so let's use Alexander O'Neill, which is basically Prince again. But anyway, here we go. Now what you do again, you hit start, and you select your, your song, and there it goes, it's recording. And I hit stop here, then I can take this, and get it. Real simple, then once the sounds are in machine, you can... Uh, as I said, slice them, you can assign them to different pads, you can apply it in effects, you can do a drum loop, a drum beat, put it in the song, manipulate it, do anything that you want to do. But this is, uh, has changed everything. This has revolutionized 
uh, sampling. Uh, you can also, as I said, if you have a, a, a keyboard, you can play it with your keyboard. <laughs> Every time you go up a note, it speeds it up. But you get the idea. And I just wanted to show you how easy it is. Again, the biggest thing is you need to have an uh, audio input-output device. I happen to have PreSonus, which is eight inputs. It is a great tool here. Um, I have my mics plugged in, I have my keyboards plugged in, I can plug in a, a guitar or, or anything directly in and then it goes out into the computer into that. You can also uh, uh, put your sounds directly into GarageBand and use it that way or any other digital audio workstation. Um, so that was this quick tutorial. I hope it was helpful. A again, I'm going to get better at slicing. But once I get better at that, I will put that out here. But this is all for now. And as I've been saying, please uh, respond, subscribe, and comment on my page so I know that you know, where I can improve or if there's something else you want to learn. Uh, but again, the machine has revolutionized everything. And I hope and pray that this quick tutorial was helpful for you. And thank you and God bless. Have a wonderful day.